All right, check out the Northern Lights in three different pictures. First of all, the Northern Lights were very difficult to see with the naked eye in Oklahoma, but my phone did a pretty good job capturing the light, so no pictures were edited here, but I did change the exposure settings. This first pick is the 10 second exposure setting, definitely the best for capturing the color. The next one is the three second exposure setting. Now the colors weren't as bright, but it really captured how many stars were visible. It was absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm adding this in here as well because this is more what it looked like by the naked eye. The iPhone was in the setting on dark mode, but there wasn't any long exposure used. Now this was by far the coolest photo I saw in Oklahoma or over Oklahoma, Aurora Borealis from the plain. Really, really cool here. Now we do have another chance to see the Northern Lights again on Wednesday night. So you have another chance to capture lights on your camera. So here's a quick explanation on the long exposure. Now long exposure basically means the more sensitive the camera is to light and the more detailed a photo can be. Now, of course, we wanna see your pictures. So send them to Hail Trace and join us every single weekday at noon for your latest up-to-date weather forecast.